Hey everybody, I'm Jim, and uh, you can see me at ifoundjim.com on the World Wide Web. And I'm going to tell you a quick story about Microsoft, which you would uh, find a little disheartening, which most of you who have uh, Microsoft products, you'll probably have found out that this is fairly true. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through the woods here so you don't have to look at a stupid computer screen that uh, Microsoft has trying to take control of. Anyway, here we go. I came... Uh, Probably most of you know and are familiar with the uh, Windows 10 upgrade. And probably have gotten many, many pop-up windows and you click the X box, or the X on the box off to get rid of that pop-up because you're probably satisfied with Windows 7 or whatever platform you're using, Windows 8.1 or Windows 8, whatever it is. Anyway, that's been my case for about, well, probably four months, continually clicking off that Windows 10 update button. And I have a great story that I'll tag along in this video that you can uh, read by a guy who writes for Forbes magazine. And uh, anyway, so after months of clicking off that Windows 10 box, I opened up my computer uh, the other day, and there's that big blue screen for Windows 10. And it says, uh, welcome, Jim. Welcome to Windows 10. And it says, are you Jim on the bottom left? And it's a big Windows 10 screen. And I kept on clicking, no, I'm not Jim. And then... Uh, I would click the decline button on Windows 10. Well, the decline button actually means that you have accepted Windows 10 upgrade. So after probably 50 or 60 declines, I shut my computer off and I took it out of the Wi-Fi zone and tried to do it again. And the Windows 10 button and page still comes up. I could not access anything without... Uh, I could not access anything. It was basically accept Windows 10 or do not accept Windows 10. That's the, that's the story. It's kind of like being pirated. It's almost like being raped in a way. You have no control over this. And so, finally, my last resort was to call... Come on, Diesel. I called 1-800-426-9400, which is Microsoft. And I finally went through their prompts, and they ask you if you are a consumer or a business, or a, a uh, home user or a business. Of course, I'm a home user. And then they go give you the prompts. Is this about Windows 10? And yes. And then I waited for the tech support, which actually didn't take all that long. Uh, they said the wait could be up to a half hour. And I did this last night. It wasn't a half hour. It was about 20 minutes. And I got a real nice guy uh, from one of the Microsoft tech support guys in India. Told him my problem. And he actually stepped me through the whole process. And with that big blue screen that says accept or decline, he said, well, it could be a glitch in the system. Well, the glitch in the system is that they want you to accept Microsoft 10, obviously, because it's going to be subscription-based, and they want to get money every year from you. So we went through the whole process, and uh, <clears throat> basically I had to accept Windows 10, and then we roamed around on Windows 10 to see if everything was the same and all my stuff was there. Diesel, come on. Hey, Diesel. Diesel. I guess he wants to go sniff that. Anyway, we were roamed around on Windows 10 for a while, and uh, he said, do you want to keep it? And I said, no, I want to. He says, you have 30 days to uh, use Windows 10. If you don't like it, then you can step back and use Windows, whatever version you're using. So I said, at that time, I said, no, I don't want to use Windows 10. I want to go back to my Windows 7 Pro, which I paid a lot of money for. Anyway... We finally got through that whole mess, and I'm on Windows 7 again. And he said, also, if you do not want that pop-up box to show up anymore, you basically just call us back. And, of course, the first time I had a case number, and I can refer to that at any point. And uh, then he said, if you don't want that Windows pop-up box anymore, basically call us back up again, and uh, you can have that pop-up box removed. And, of course, that first phone call, uh, the guy from India the tech, he actually remotely controlled my computer with my approval and clicked all the buttons off on Windows 10, brought me back to Windows 7. And like I said, he said, if I don't want those pop-up windows anymore for Windows 10, just call us back and we can remove all of the updates for Windows 10 on your computer. So as soon as my Windows 7 loaded again, I called them back up, got a gal from India, super nice, and uh, told her, my reference number from the first call. Now I have a second reference number from this call. 
and she remotely controlled my computer and took all of the Windows 10 updates off completely. So hopefully I'll never get another Windows 10 update. So anyway, that's the story. If any of you guys got Windows 10 and you actually did go to Windows 10, you have 30 days to step back to your Windows 7. If you go over the 30-day period, you're stuck with Windows 10, period, and that's it. So that's my story, and it's a little bit like the old days when the white man, white man was coming across the plains and there was Indians all over in Buffalo. The white man, Microsoft, is a little bit like that. They're like the white man that rolled across the, rolled across the plains, killed all the Indians, put them in reservations, and then they killed all the buffalo and all of the other species on the planet because they thought that was what they should do. So Microsoft is a little bit like that, and I'm, I'm a bit surprised that their new CEO is so flagrant in all of this too, uh, all of this stuff too. And uh, I know a lot of us rely on Microsoft products, but their tactics are absolutely sickening, if you ask me. So anyway, I'll leave all that stuff in the description down there. Oh, that you can look at and how to get back to Windows, your previous version of Windows, unless you've already clicked on your Windows 10 and it's gone over 30 days, you're stuck with Windows 10, which I don't know if it's good or bad, but I don't like the uh, thought that they can actually remotely, or not remotely, I don't like the thought that they can actually come in and just use their malware practices to uh, force you into upgrades that you don't want. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.